Welcome back to Afternoon Live. For 80 years, UNCF has been supporting students and future leaders, helping more than half a million students achieve the dream of a college education. Here to share more about what they do and the upcoming Each One Teach One Luncheon, we welcome back from UNCF, Michelle Harper. Thanks for joining us in the afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's nice to have you on set with us. So tell us about what UNCF does. You guys do a lot of great work. We do. Uh, initially, I would say that we do provide wraparound services mm -hmm. for college for high school students who are college bound. But it's more than just being college bound. It's college bound and beyond. And we meet students where they are. If college is that next step, if it's a vocational program, if it's apprenticeship, whatever that next step is, we provide that resource and tools and knowledge for to help them get there to cross over to pathway to success. Yeah, the traditional college journey that we think of doesn't have to be everybody's exactly. path forward. Exactly. So we have an amazing mentorship based program called the United um, UNCF uh, Portfolio Project where we recruit uh, high school juniors and seniors uh, from the Portland metropolitan area and it's a mentorship based program that we provide that gives them the tools and the resources and also the exposure. We have wonderful community leaders who are those mentors for respective companies and corporations here in Portland that give them that up close personal attention and kind of guide them, expose them to uh, experiences that otherwise they would not it's really be exposed to. It's really priceless, those leaders from wonderful organizations who can give that kind of hands-on training too. Very much so. And you also do a lot to support HBCUs. Yes, we do. Yes, Tell we do. Tell me more we, about that. Uh, we uh, just got back from a HBCU tour to Atlanta and toured all of the HBCUs Fun. there. It was an amazing experience. We took high school juniors and uh, not only just the experience of the HBCUs that are there, but the experience of the historic part of Atlanta mm -hmm. and about them learning all about their culture and uh, being able to meet those college presidents and have those conversations and for them to be able to, you know, get this feel of this is a place that where excellence is just personified mm -hmm. and that's not to say that other organizations or other universities that that's not the same but it's an experience for them in itself and coming from the Pacific Northwest um, it's an eye-opening experience culturally Very much for so. them to go and to be able to have that incredible experience so we had a wonderful journey yeah uh, Alaska Airlines was our major sponsor and it was amazing in every respect yeah you mentioned kids from the West Coast they might not be so familiar with the HBCU experience because just geographically we don't mm -hmm. really have the exposure out here do the kids just light up when they oh, step foot on those campuses oh my goodness yes it's the 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 thing that they say the most uh, when they step on those campuses as it feels like home mm. um, and the fact that they it's culture everywhere so they feel like they see themselves everywhere because the artwork and the different places that we went and meeting different um, african-american business entrepreneurs and leaders and uh, the, all the places that we that we went gave them a new experience of something that they had not had before here in the Pacific Northwest. I love that. So tell me about the big event. It's very so, glamorous. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Sunday, uh, July the 21st from 2 to 5 p.m. We'll be at the lovely Hyatt uh, Regency at the Convention Center. There'll be wonderful jazz music, great food. Um, wear your Sunday best yes. because the hats are the attire for the day. Hats required yes, for sure. Definitely. So it's a wonderful event, great music, food, we'll have a good time, but the major focus of the event is celebrating student achievement and student success. That you get a chance to see the the fruits of the labor mm. of the students that we've poured into and invested into. Um, you see that w they've already been accepted to college. They've got multiple scholarships. They're ha they're on a path to success. They know where they what they want to major in, and they're laser focused on what their their future is going to look like. So that's the major focus of the event, and to raise money for scholarships and and funding for the to continue the Portland. Uh, portfolio project. Yeah. We are on the campus, hosted on the campus by the wonderful Warner Pacific University. Oh, nice. And we meet there on Saturday. So it's, a, it's they, they are on a college experience already by virtue of where our, our program, um, we meet there on a regular basis. That's wonderful. You've been with UNCF for 40 years now. Yes. What keeps you coming back? I know you have such a big passion for it. I do. Um, I think it's just, you know, seeing the transformation mm -hmm. in the students. Um, when they walk through the door, they're not quite sure what to expect. And some of, some of them are a little shy or they may not see themselves in a role that they can contribute or that they are leaders in their own right. 
And so going through this program has given them confidence and self-assuredness and skills and courage to kind of step out and come into their own and really realize what they are capable of doing. And, you know, because when your kids are out there, and I shouldn't use kids, I'm dating myself, but I'll <laughs> say for students, um, sometimes they may not get that validation in mm -hmm. other areas, wh whether it's school or other places, they may not feel or see themselves as being future leaders. And, and it's not also much so much as future, but leaders like right now. Mm -hmm. The things that they're doing right now whether it's being involved in student government or they're working in a food bank or they're volunteering at the hospital or teaching kids in their neighborhood, you know, re extra reading skills or whatever, they don't always equate that with being a leader or yeah. being a young leader. They, they, they quantify leaders as, you know, someone like yourself who's very successful, you're on a talk show, you know, someone else they may see on TV, you know. Um, so we kind of make it real for them, and it and it uh, it's a wonderful experience for them to be able to kind of the light bulb kind of goes off yeah. for them, and so that's the thing that drives me because um, they this village that we have created for them um, is just a safe haven for them to thrive. You get to reach them at such a pivotal point in their life that's so exciting. Okay, we want to let everyone know the details here. The UNCF Each One Teach One Luncheon is Sunday, July twenty first. It's from 2 to 5 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency, Portland at the Convention Center. We will have all this information as well on our website at katu.com. Michelle, thank you so much. It was so thank wonderful you. chatting with you. Thank you so much. It's going to be pleasure. a great event. I can't wait to see thank your you. outfit. <laughs> thank you we'll so be much. right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. <laughs>